point is this that if you don't know grammar there's no time to get into grammar but there is time to yes, learn specific grammar i can only yes, teach you grammar that is required for letter and email writing okay yes, that is something okay. that i can do for you besides that you can't learn everything in a day but past tense can i tell you three tenses that you can use for any past experiences can i describe them to you look whenever it is an experience in the past may are you with me right now are you listening yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am how to describe an experience in the past an experience in the past how to describe it any experience either it's birthday last weekend any wedding anniversary experience any traveling experience anything that you read any shopping mall experience something that had happened to you something that happened already happened how to talk about that number one thing we use the easiest tense that is the simple past tense if you don't remember the name of the tense it's okay good for you it is just uh the person person means i you we they whatever you're talking about plus second form of verb second form of verb plus okay. noun or object to complete it now if i would ask you what did you do yesterday then can you guys tell me what did you do yesterday quickly tell me i woke up i took a shower i talked to my husband i traveled by car can you guys tell me what did you do yesterday write me in yesterday, the chat box or, or say yesterday it yesterday i okay yesterday i waked up uh, woke up. Up. No, 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 woke no. up woke up woke 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 up woke up w o k u woke up at uh, 5 am then i perform prayer mm. or offered prayer or perform mm. perform prayer fajr prayer whatever you want to say okay offer okay then i was went for a walk that is wrong there is no helping went... verb in it straight okay. up second form straight up second form no was was is a helping verb okay i went for a walk perfect okay then i was came back to my home i will that's cook. wrong sumaya so, can you correct is that right then i was came back to my home is that then okay then i came back no then i came back to my home then i came okay i cooked for myself okay i cooked uh, paratha and omelet okay then i uh, i revised my lesson good and uh take 3 hours nap take then take uh, took took no no took 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 okay took. then uh i uh, i prepared for my arts class mm then i attend my class attend did or attend attend my class right oh you will tell me i i can't tell you yes i'm attend my class that is incorrect attended attended in my class mm. attended my class mm. and after finished my class okay now this one when we talk about after so we always say after finishing my after finish my class finishing my or finish my class finishing my class. finishing this is an act like i will tell you what to do with it but after finishing my class then then after that yes hello yes yes ma'am after that after that 
I again revised my again I revo, uh, re, I revised my lesson. What are you revising? Revised, okay. You revised it again then. After that. After. No lunch. No I booty, use, nothing. Uh, my phone. Sorry. Say it again. No, I already I watched movie okay. or something else. Talk more. Uh, tell me what. What did you do? You checked your phone. Yes. Uh, communicate. Uh, talked with my friend. Okay. Watched movie. Okay. On Netflix and uh, after. I was slept. Oh my god, this is so wrong. Last one. I uh, sorry, I slept. Yes, so understand this. This is called simple uh, past tense. And usually, even if you will write in this, nobody is going to tell you that your answer is wrong. So, Maya, please tell me what did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I woke at uh, four and then I offered the uh, salah and then I. Um, made a breakfast for my husband mm. and then i woke my woke up my children i woke my children up okay then uh, then um after that i watched tv mm. then afterwards um i cooked for them the food mm. Mm. Then I took a bath. Mm -hmm. Then I offered a prayer. Then, then I watched TV. Okay, same. Next. Then I walked. Then, then I went to a garden. Mm -hmm. Mm. Then I came back. Mm. Um, Ma'am, it is I drive or drive. That's I drove. 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 I drove the a car. Third one is driven, okay? Yeah. But you will use drove second. I drove a car. Mm. Then I came back. Mm. And uh, then I made a lunch mm. for dinner. Same. Dinner. Okay. I cooked a food. Okay. And you did not I eat anything lunch. yesterday. What did you eat yesterday? Yeah, I ate. <laughs> I ate. I ate. Well, I ate um uh, a char gosh. Mm -hmm. I cooked a challenge. Okay. And then I went for I slept oh. or I went I for slept sleeping. Or I went to bed. So we say I went to bed. Um ma'am, I want to ask that uh, I went for sleeping. It's right or wrong? It's wrong. I went to sleep. I went to sleep. Yes. You can also say I went to bed. I went to bed. Okay. Okay, not bad. So this is called the simple past tense. Ali, do you understand me? Now I'm just going to tell you one more tense that you can use. Right now, Ali, we call it affirmative tense. What is it? Affirmative tense. Affirmative means I agree. These are yes statements. Yes, I wake up. Yes, I offered prayer. Yes, I came back. This is called affirmative. Affirmative means yes sentences. You know, positive sentences. Uh, okay. Let us let me tell you about one more tense that you can use to describe experience in the past in affirmative. For example, you, you tell me, I had woken up. So you would go with person. Okay. Plus had. Plus third form of verb. Meaning is same. There is no difference. Third form of verb. Plus noun or object to complete it. Noun or object to complete it. 
Do you understand? Okay. For example, now please tell me what did you do yesterday in the past perfect tense? This is called a past perfect tense. That's a perfect okay. replacement for simple past. Okay. I had woken up five o'clock. Mm -hmm. I offered, I had offered Fajr prayer. Mm. I was went for walk. No ways. I had, I had went for walk. Incorrect. Third form is gone. Gone, yes. When, go, when. Okay. I had gone for a walk. Mm. I, uh, what is a third form of came, right? Come, came, came, come. came. come. Sorry, apologies. Yes. It's come, come, came, come. Come, came, come. Okay. Then I had I had come back to my home. Mm -hmm. I had cooked for myself. Mm -hmm. I had revised my lesson. Mm -hmm. I had took a nap. That is incorrect. I had took took third took, form is taken. Taken. I had taken. Yeah, taken. I had taken nap. Mm. I had prepared my homework. Mm. I had attend my attend attend attended my class. Attended. Attended, yes. I had attended my class. Mm. After finished, I had finished my class. After finishing I, my class, I, yes. no matter what happens, when you after I'll tell you what to do. Like for example, when you wake up, I say, tell me about your daily routine. You say, okay, I wake up at 7 o'clock, then I brush my teeth. After brushing my teeth, I eat my breakfast. So, after brushing my teeth means an action you're referring to in the recent past. Do you understand? After doing yes. this. Okay. After doing my homework, I meet my friends. So, continue. After finishing. Okay. After finishing. Okay. Hmm. I had talked with my friend, make some gossip, made some gossips, right? I had, I had, I met, I had met my friends, and I had gossiped and, with them. Okay, I had gossips with them. I had watched movie. Mm -hmm. I had slept, sleep, sleep, slept, slept. I had slept. Uh, ten o'clock. Good job. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Samaya. Please tell me yes. your what what did you do in the morning? Because it's evening right now and use simple past perfect tense, please. I had woke up at uh, seven. Mm. I had woken up. Woken. I had I had woken up. At seven, I made a breakfast. Mm -hmm. Then I watched. I had, I had made, yeah. I had made a breakfast. Mm -hmm. I watched a TV. Then I had watched a TV. I had watched TV then. Then I cook a food then I had cooked I had cooked my food mm. for kids then I took then I had a bath taken, taken taken I had taken a bath I had taken a bath uh, then I had whoa well, went for went for shopping then i had i had gone beautiful go went gone so had is with the third form of verb yeah i yeah i i, I had gone right yes I had gone for shopping. Mm -hmm. Then I had um, 
that I had. Uh, when for driving, then mm -hmm. I had gone beautiful, or I had driven my car. I had driven my car, driven like third form, drive driven, driven my car. Then I had ate my lunch. Then I went. I had what? Did you repeat the previous one? Then I ha had ate, ate my lunch. I had eaten, beautiful. Eat, 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 eaten. eat, 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 eaten. Then I had eaten my lunch. Hmm. Then I had gone to bed. Gone, gone, gone to my bed. Okay, now listen, guys. Ali, do you understand me? We, for example, if you're describing yes, an experience of what happened last night, you can use a mix of. You can use a mix of simple past and you can use a mix of past. Perfect. Okay. Yeah had with the third okay. form of verb and in case you don't know then use the simple now i want to tell you one more thing ali you also need to learn the negatives you know we are right now saying yes 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 yes, yes. so what is the negative i offered prayer what is the negative i did not did not after did not what will you write I, I did, did not, not offer the prayer. No, 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 no ED. I did not offer prayer. The negative structure carries this uh, in here. We'll put person plus did plus not. This means didn't. So didn't. You can go with did plus not. And then first form of verb. Ali, how funny is English? Right? First form of verb. Yes, ma'am. This is negative. Example, now tell me everything. Tell me everything that you, all of this that you told me, convert that okay. into negative. I did not wake up early in the morning. I mm. did not offer my prayer. Mm. I did not go my uh, go for a walk. I mm. did not come back to my home. I did not cook for myself. I did not revise my lesson. I did not take. Uh, I did not prepare my lesson. I did not attend my class. I did not. Uh, I did not finish uh, my homework. I did not check my lesson. I did not talk with my friend. I did not watch a movie, and I did not sleep yesterday night. Beautiful. Okay, Sumaya, please turn that into the. This is Ali. Understanding. This is for simple past tense negative. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Sumaya, you now. Mm, I did not first form of verb. Yes. That is wake. Mm. I did not wake. I did not make. I did not watch. Mm. I did not work. I did not cook. Mm. I did not took. No. I did take. Not take. Mm. I did not walk. Hmm. I did not went. No. Pretty first. I did not go to no. the college yesterday. I did not wash my hair yesterday. I did not. That is good. Yeah, but more, more. Talk. Last one. I ate my lunch yesterday. I did not eat my lunch yesterday. I, okay, I will I give you guys eat. some homework about this. Let me take you to the past of, uh, what do you call this tense? Had one? Past perfect tense. Ali, where you said that yes. I had offered prayer. So now how will you make a negative now? I had not. Yeah, that's simple. I hadn't offered prayer. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Changed. It is like person plus um, had. Plus not, plus third form of verb. 
plus third form. Form of yeah. Now tell me, there are so many things you can write with this. Okay. Now, Ali, I just want to tell you a yes. little bit more. Okay, just a little bit more. Please don't mind. Okay. We're going to go to a little bit further with another past one. This is called past continuous tense. What do we call it? Past continuous. It is the uh, easiest one that tells, that adds detail to your experience. For example, you say, I was eating my breakfast. I was eating my breakfast. Yeah, I was eating my okay. breakfast. Let me tell you how do we use it. For example, I woke up at 7 o'clock yesterday. I woke up at 7 o'clock. And then I had brushed my teeth. And then I had brushed, brushed my teeth. When I was brushing my teeth, this tense is used for adding detail to your past experience. Yeah? When I was okay. brushing my teeth, Brushing my teeth, I saw a lizard in the bathroom. Can you see that? I start, yes, I screamed. I screamed. My mother had come to look at me, right? My mother had come to at look, look at, at me. At me. Can you see that? I am not using any different tense. I'm using the tenses that you already know. Yes. Right? I did not have anything. I did not have a stick to kill the lizard. I didn't have. After didn't first form. Have. I didn't have a stick to kill the lizard. To kill. The lizard. The lizard. My mother gave me a sandal. My mother gave me a, a sandal. 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 How do you spell sandal? I had taken it. Sandal. I had I had thrown it towards the lizard. I had thrown it thrown. towards the lizard. Understand it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, when I was throwing it, I slipped. When this is adding detail to the experience. When I was when I was throwing the sandal, I slipped. Sandal, I slipped. Any confusion? Look, I am not doing anything but using those very simple uh, tenses. Yeah. Okay. Can you read it once? I was eating my breakfast. I woke up seven at seven, and then I had a brush my teeth. I was brushing my teeth. I saw a lizard in a bathroom. I screamed. My mother had come. Uh, come to uh, come. My mother had come to look at me. I didn't have a stick to kill the lizard. My my mother gave it to me. Yeah, gave, right. Gave. My, my mother gave me a sandal. I had thrown it towards the lizard. When I was throwing the sandal, I slipped. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. All in the second form. And so, the this is this is a combination of past perfect tense, simple past tense, and past continuous tense. Okay. Then there's another one. I'm sorry, I'm just telling you more. But that, then there's past perfect continuous tense as well. That is, again, all these tenses are used for describing experiences in the past. You can use a mix of that to describe something. Past perfect continuous tense. Continuous tense. It's very easy. It's pretty much like this. I, I, when I had, I, I had been... I had been brushing my teeth. I had been brushing, brushing my, my teeth. teeth. Like I woke up at seven o'clock, then I had brushed my teeth. When I had been cooking my cooking
cooking, not brushing my teeth, right? Yes. So this one is I plus had plus been plus ing. If it's too much for you, don't use it, okay? Okay. It is a combination of I person plus had. Person. Okay. Plus. Plus had plus been plus ing. First form of word plus ing. It's too much for some people. But some people like it so they can use it. Understanding? Yes, ma'am. But this structure is too lengthy, right, ma'am? Not lengthy. We can use it somewhere. You know, I had been studying yesterday. Mm. Anyways, I hope you guys understood something, right? Yes, ma'am. And Kamar, this not your name is not Kamar, your name is Ali. Uh, in case, there's called a descriptive past tense. Descriptive tense. This is used for describing things like there was a car on the road. This is like to show things. There was or there were boys in the class. There were. Boys there were many. The there were many. Uh, there were many friends in friends at the party. Friends at the party. So this is this this tense this tense or this sentence starts with the determiner. Right? There was okay. a car. There were many friends. So you, you also have a confusion with was is used for singular, were is used for more. That, that okay. is all possible, uh, you know, sentence structure for past tenses. Okay. Possible structures I've told you. This is not hard, guys. You just need to understand that I if I'm describing it, Okay, homework is this. Homework is this. You will tell me what did you do on your recent birthday. Any question that carries a did in it, this means that this is related to the past. I'm asking you, this is your homework. What and did I'm you could, What about the could? Okay, now could is not about the past. I mean, could is showing the possibility of something. For example, could is past also, can, could, could. It has another use, like, for example, you tell me, I will call you, right? Or you say okay. to me, I can call you, I can call you. Okay. Now, Ali, besides can, could, could, there's another use of it that that's how we use it every day. Uh, let me move to the next page with it. I will call you. Wait a second. Yeah, let me copy it and get back to you. How to copy this? I don't know. Let's move to the next page. Okay, for example, I'm going to tell you the use of will, would, should, could, might, whatever. Okay, we have all, the, all of them. We have will, we have would, we have could, we have should. And what else do we have? Should, might, may. Understand this now, Kamar. Uh, Ali. Yes, ma'am. Look. If I say, will you marry me? For example, if I say, will you marry me? If you say, yes, I will. You say, yes, yes I, I will. will. I would know that this is a hundred percent. You know, you're very certain. You're sure about something. Okay. But if you if you say yes, I would. Yes, I would. Uh this is this means yes, but the would is a weaker form of will. I would say you eighty percent want to say yes to me, right? But I would still okay. think of it like not as a hundred percent. Then you say okay. yes, I might. Yes, I, I might fifty percent. This means no. 50 means no, actually, right? When people say, yeah, I might call you at 7, they never call, right? This might is maybe. Okay. Maybe, might. I might, same, same. Now, in here, wood is not used for past, but wood is being used for the possibility of something happening. 
in future yeah you understand in me? future right yeah of course yes okay the next one when, I, when you say can you get me a glass of water can you get me a glass of water can you okay let's make it let's make it easier can you give me can you give me some money can you give me some money so you say can you give me some money so uh yes i can right yes yes i can give you some money the money has not been given yet but you're just showing that you can now this can means okay you're very ready then you say yes i could yes i yes. could but this is not in the past okay usually in the letters you're showing possibility of doing things like for example you want to write to your friend what you could do on his birthday together so you can say we could go to the supermarket together and buy some clothes because you're not 100 percent sure that this is something exactly you're going to do so that's where you're gonna you're gonna use uh, we could you know we could meet okay. all our friends we could invite this and that do you, do you get me possibilities ma'am possibility it's not in the past but it is the possibility of happening something yes and usually this is used in letters like for example you you want to tell your friend what you could do together what you can yes, do okay. together could means because it is something that will happen in the future you're not 100% sure you have to use a weaker form of can it could so ma'am uh, what is it? write a letter to your friend who could not come yeah who could not come in here who could is used in past but in the next okay. sentence when you will say that what you could do together that's the possibility of happening something in the yes. future and yes and the same is are describing the evening and suggesting what you could do yes together yes. to the, the celebrate okay 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 and now i got the point it can could, the could are using the past also but this is the possibility of happening something as well you know, people okay. only relate could with past. It's not about past only. It's about possibility of some. Like I, I can I say? Can you give me some money? Uh, yes, I can. This is like hundred percent that you're sure. Then you say, yeah, I could. You can also see the tone. You know, yeah, I could. Yeah, and then you say, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I might. Okay. So this might is like fifty percent. This 50 means fifty. Fifty means zero percent in my business. Oh. In my work, when somebody says, maybe I will join the class next week, I cut their name and I never call them back because maybe means no, right? And if in okay. future, Ali, you would ask a girl, would you marry me? And she says, maybe do not marry her. Okay. Maybe means no. Oh, come on. People think it is 50%, but in like general, maybe means no. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So any confusion with this? Now you no, want to no, tell no, your friend, no. I could, I could take you to this Disneyland. I, we could eat ice cream together on your birthday. Birthday has not come yet, but you want to tell the person this is the possibility of something happening. Mm should should yani must should, be should yani. should don't use should and must together, please. Should already means must. Should already okay. means uh have. Should or okay. Need to. Same. Like, for example, you should call me. You should come to my party. You should come. You can also say you must come. Okay. You can also say you need to come to my birthday party. You need to come. Please do okay. not use them together. People people say you should must come. That's so wrong. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, that's a lot of grammar for today. I hope you learned something. Sobia, no, Sobia, yes. your name is? Uh, Samaya. Samaya. Samaya, do you also understand this? Like, could, would, should, might, may? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, okay, now it is time for me to give you some homework and then we'll move to reading. I'll take a break for five minutes, then I'll start the reading class. Okay, okay. ma'am. Look, I want to tell you, you have to write me write about about a festival that you attended in school or college right write about a 
festival you attended at school how did you feel how did you how did you feel and what happened that day and what happened that day this is your homework you will write me 102 that day so basically you will write a letter to your old teacher write a letter to your old teacher write a letter to your former teacher write a letter to your formal former former teacher to remind her of the good time at school to remind her at the good to remind her uh, of the good time uh, time at school you had spent this is the reference right so in general okay. you will write about a festival you attended at school so whatever you will okay. write about write in particular about the festival how did you feel that day and what happened that day this is your question please take a photo of this you already good and send it to me as well on whatsapp okay ali now this or is, tomorrow I, Picture now, picture now, but homework you can do this. You can send it to me at any time, okay? I will check it and let uh -huh. you know. Okay, I got it. Okay, now I need a break for five minutes and we will begin our reading class then, yeah? Okay, ma'am. I'm going to end okay. the meeting and restart it. Okay, ma'am.